Hi, if you're watching this video, chances are that you've got a lawsuit and you're wondering what impact social media will have on your lawsuit. I'm attorney Richard Lagarde. I've got over 30 years of experience in representing individuals, small business owners, and even major corporations. And I can tell you this, social media can have a big impact on your case. So if you want to learn more, let's get started. The advice I give to my clients about social media is this. Be careful what you put on social media. Don't write anything on Facebook, Pinterest, or any other social media that you don't want the other side to see and you don't want the jurors to see in your case. Now, let's talk first about the other side. It's not unusual for attorneys or defendants in a case to take a look at social media, to try to look you up on Facebook, uh, to see what, uh, what your Twitter account might say, and they're looking for any information about your case that might, uh, might call into question whether you've been injured or damaged uh, in this case. I'll give you some practical examples. I actually had a client once who talked about his injuries, talked about his pain medications on Facebook, and some buddies of his started putting Facebook entries on his page about how funny it was that he was faking his injuries so that he could get medication. Well, believe me, that doesn't help your case. And don't assume that the other side can't see your Facebook post or your social media post just because you've got a privacy setting on it and limit your, uh, your uh, Facebook to friends or acquaintances. Because all the other side has to do is befriend one of your friends to be able to get into your account and see what you've posted. So again, be very careful. Don't post anything on social media that you don't want the attorney for the other side to read. Now you might ask yourself, wow, now that I've seen this video, should I go back and erase things I've put on my social media? And the answer to that is be careful. Because courts in some states have said that if you go back once you file a lawsuit and start erasing evidence, especially if the other side has requested your Facebook postings or your social media postings, then that might be what they call spoliation of evidence or destruction of evidence. So be careful. Talk to your attorney about that before you start erasing anything from social media. Now earlier I said social media is important both from the point of view of the other attorney and it's also important from the point of view of jurors. Now, the judge in almost every case will tell the jury you can't investigate the case yourself. You can't look up people on social media. You can't go to the scene of an incident. You can't do your own research outside of the courtroom. You're supposed to just listen to the evidence and listen to the testimony and base your judgment on that. However, human nature being what it is, people are curious. And there's always someone on that jury who wants to be the expert. And that person will go back home and look you up and try to get as much information as about, you, about you as they can. They'll look up your attorney, they'll look up the defendant and the defendant's attorney, and they'll show up in court the next day and tell all the other jurors what they found. So again, social media can be very dangerous if you have a pending lawsuit. I hope this video has answered your questions about social media and the impact it could have on your pending lawsuit. If you have more questions about social media and how it might impact on your lawsuit, give me a call at 1-866-LAGARDE or go to my website readyforjustice.com. Thanks for watching. Good luck.